Wow. Say, cutie, what brings a hot tentacle babe like you to a dump like this? I'm looking for a pet. Sorry, honey, you came to the wrong place. These three are problem humans. Untrainable, disobedient, downright surly. He's just jealous because we've got opposable thumbs. Someday you will accept tentacles as your masters. Heh, <laughs> you losers can't even ride tricycles. You see why no one wants them as pets? I'm here by accident. Bye. Hey, I don't want to be here either. He might get upset. Hello, I'm a tentacle. I'd like to enter my insignificant human in the show. Oh my, yes, yes, of course. Take these tags and put them on your human and have them wait on the bench in the lobby. Entrance will be judged in three categories. Best smile, best hair, and best laugh. Thank you, fellow tentacle. Unlike humans, you have been very useful. Oh, uh, thank you. Believe me, it was my pleasure. Now all I need is a human. Yowza! That was one good-looking tentacle. advanced in the last 200 years. Gauze-wrapped friend. I really should go now. Call me sometime, okay? Bernard might like it, but it's way too tacky for me. Hey, 
Has anyone ever escaped from this place? Some try once in a while, but I always fetch them back. That's my primary duty here, and I take it very seriously. I always get my man, no matter how long it takes. Why, I once trailed a renegade human for six days. He led me clear through the hills and up to the top of those mountains to the west. You couldn't possibly imagine the horrible things I had to eat to survive. Putrefied squirrel intestines? Good heavens! Hi, I'm Laverne. Laverne, eh? Curious name for a tentacle, I must say. Are you here for the show? Yes, that's right. Well, good luck to you then. There are some jolly good prizes to be won. Why, the grand prize is a dinner for two at Club Tentacle. Nice clock. Yes, it's a valuable antique. I'd like to show it to you, but I'm presently charged with the task of guarding it. No one will get near it while I'm here. Couldn't I please touch the clock? Sorry, no. No one touches the clock while I'm on duty. Aren't you curious about what's inside the clock? Not really. Guarding it is more or less the same no matter what's inside. Well, be seeing you. Yes, perhaps I could regale you with further tales of my tracking expertise. going to start, my inhuman comrade? Just as soon as we get enough humans in the lobby with their tags on. Ready to go now. He's as far back as he's going to go.
Well? I say, have I told you about the time I tracked an escaped human to Madagascar? He had stowed away aboard a tuna boat, you see, and I narrowly missed stopping at leaving port. Unfortunately, the only other available transport was a rowboat, so I... Mmm... Yes? Never mind, I forgot what I was going to say. Outfit. Don't bother. You'll just get beat like the rest of them. And so I said to her, that's not my suction cup. <laughs> you think that's funny? Listen to this. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best hair? Oh, all right. As usual, no one competes with Harold. Agreed. Anybody care for a bride? What do you think we are, human? Ha ha ha! Human! It's bad enough to carry the weight of his death on my conscience.
I don't wanna. Maybe we should add a rule that you can't dump sludge into the water supply. What manner of fool would do that in the first place? You're right. The LALR compiler is constructed by the following method. First, develop a rigorous elective grammar. If the elements have NP completeness, the crunchy factor can be ignored. Blah, 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 blah. Whoa.
Maybe I shouldn't have pushed it. Wow, this is loud. What are you babbling about? You really should have told the judges if you weren't feeling well. Oh, ick! Now how did that mess get in there? I think I'm going to be sick. Someone in here not feeling well? I was feeling fine until I saw that. Is that your regurgitation? No, I'm an healthy human. Didn't you just say you thought you were going to be sick? That's just a figure of speech. Do you realize you could have infected the whole show with human influenza? But I just got all my shots! 
You're a good-looking human, Harold, but you know the rules. You're out of the show. What a mess. I hate cleaning up after humans. Don't you think you should judge best hair again? Oh, all right. Wow, that's the best hair I've ever seen on a mummy. Thick and full and juicy. The mummy wins. Agreed. When are you guys going to judge best smile? Oh, all right. I like the quiet one with the big teeth. There's nothing in the rules about them being white. First place goes to the mummy. Agreed. going to judge best left. <laughs> oh, all right. Okay, who's got a joke? Hey, I just flew in from Baltimore, and boy are my suction cups tired. <laughs> a classic. Ha, ha, ha. It's amazing how the mummy can do that without moving his lips. I say we give him first place. Agreed. Well, that makes him best of show. Let's go congratulate him. He is very well preserved. I'll miss his laugh. It's time to give him his winnings and start packing up. We gotta get this whole show to Baltimore by Thursday. Yes, our work here is done. Well, Ted, this is where we <laughs> part ways. You've certainly helped save humanity. Even though you've been <laughs> dead for thousands of years, I think you're my favorite Edison. <laughs>